display Whoa, I'll never know. how is he doing that? But it's beautiful Look at that Can't take this away from me I wonder oh, how he's playing that melody. Hey, what up? It's Jordy the Kid, and today I'm going to break down Tom Mish's NPR Tiny Desk Concert. Really quickly, I'm going to go over the chords of the three songs, starting with the very first song, It Runs Through Me. It's like a special song, can move my mood along. What I cannot say, you'll hear through my guitar. The chords in the main verse are B7 sus2. D13 sus2, and then a D7 sus2, to G major 7, to C sharp minor 7 flat 5, and F sharp 7 sharp 5. Now the first chord, the B7 sus2, is just a bar across the second fret, but my right hand is going to have my thumb on the A string, and my index, middle, and ring finger on the G, B, and high E string. So the pattern starts by plucking all my fingers twice. Then I go thumb fingers next time around. And then one more time, it's the same thing, pluck twice, thumb fingers, and one more pluck at the end. So pluck, pluck, thumb fingers, pluck, pluck, thumb fingers, pluck. Then I go to my next chord, the D13. Same kind of voicing barring across the 5th fret, but my pinky goes to the 7th fret to make that 13. Right after that first pattern, I go to just the bar, making it a D7 sus2. So it goes. Then when I go over to G major 7, my thumb comes down to the low E string, and my fingers go to the D, G, and B string. Then the same pattern. Pluck, pluck, thumb fingers, pluck, pluck, thumb fingers, pluck. Then to my C sharp minor 7 flat 5, fingers stay on the G, B, and E, or I'm sorry, D, G, and B, and my thumb on the A string. And that's just half that pattern when I go to the F sharp 7 sharp 5, <laughs> I finish the pattern. Pluck, pluck, thumb fingers. So the whole thing together, pluck, pluck, thumb fingers, pluck, 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 thumb fingers, pluck. And it just keeps grooving on that chord progression the whole time. The second song he does has a lot of cool inversions and slash chords, uh, which give it a really unique and jazzy sound. This one starts off with an E major triad on the 4th fret. You can bar halfway across the 4th fret, and it starts with just a pluck and then your pinky grabs that high uh, E string on the seventh fret. And then we go down barring the second fret and hammer on the fourth fret. Yeah. Uh-huh. We do a real quick grab on that second fret chord and we slide into uh, the fourth fret, which is a G sharp minor. And that's the basis of the main groove there. Hammer on there. And then about four times through every now and then he does a quick slide up to the fifth fret. And right back around.
And for the chorus also, there's a lot of slash chords. But uh, starting out, he has a D9 flat five. It's a very tough chord. And uh, he plays this big, just a fuller version of that E major triad, uh, but there's an F sharp in the bass. So if you really wanted to hear that just on your own, you could play it like this. And he slides that same voicing up to F sharp with a, a J, G sharp in the bass. And a G sharp with an A sharp in the bass. So we got D9 flat 5. And he does his little lick in the E major pentatonic. First time he does it, he goes up the E major pentatonic scale. Then one more time, second time through. Sliding in and out of the fourth fret, pull off to the second, and end on the fourth fret. The last song is pretty simple and pretty smooth. The chords go between C major 7 to B minor 7 to B major 7 and then A minor 7. The second time around, instead of A major 7, he goes to uh, C with the D in the bass. I'm going to show you right now some of the ways that he plays these chords and the little inflections that he does that just sound really soulful. Now this song starts off with a C major 7, which typically you would play like this for your jazz voicing, uh, but I love the way he uses his thumb and the root note and his first three fingers for those other three notes so he can have his pinky available to get that nine in there and give it some extra flavor. You give it a little pop. And still using the thumb on the bass note for uh, B minor seven. And he walks up to the B flat with open E, G on the third fret, a on the 5th fret, and then B flat on the 6th. And just picking it, open, then down to A minor 7, barring the 5th fret. And a quick little hammer on to the 7th fret. And a quick uh, moving chord from B minor 7 back to that C major 7. See you with the D in the bass. Hey guys, I hope you dug this. Um, I thought it was just cool to see Tom Mish on the NPR Tiny Desk. And I love his chords and some of the stuff that he does. And I just want to do a really quick video to show you what he's doing and inspire you to do some of your own things. So if you enjoyed this, share it, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you want me to do anything else or let me know what inspires you. And let's keep on talking and jamming this guitar, baby. Ways bring clarity. Oh, how's he doing that? Uh, 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 you can't hey, look at that chord right there. Oh, the way I hear the melody. Man. The ways bring clarity, and it's running through me.